Hello, and welcome to my new series called Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Interactions. In today's episode, we will be covering card interactions between the brand new Penguin Torpedo, the field spell card Wetlands, and a card which alters a monster's level, Star Blast. Penguin Torpedo is a Water Aqua level 3, with 550 attack and 300 defense. This card can attack directly. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one level 6 or lower monster your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase, but its effects are negated. Also, it cannot declare an attack while you control it. You can only use this effect of Penguin Torpedo once per turn. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, destroy this card. Wetlands is a field spell card with the effect all aqua type water level 2 or lower monsters gain 1200 attack. Um, this is uh, effective for monsters, you know, who would traditionally be quite weak. Um, you have some of the frog monsters who would have only a couple of hun hundred uh, attack points. But actually with the effect of this card, um, they could be into the 1500s or above that. Um, this kind of attack stat gain within multiple monsters is what makes sometimes these combos quite terrifying for your opponent. And the final card in our three card combo is called Star Blast. This is a normal spell card uh, with the effect pay as many or any number of life points in multiples of 500, reduce the level of one monster you control, or that is in your hand by one for each 500 life points you paid until the end phase. The whole purpose of this combo is unfortunately with Penguin Torpedo, it's a level three monster, therefore it doesn't benefit um, from the effects of your um, wetlands field spell. Uh, the good thing about this is actually by using Star Blast, you're reducing its level by one to level two. It already has the water attribute and it already has the aqua type. So you're making that card a from a 550 attack monster to a 1750 attack monster. This benefits in doing it when it does its direct attacks. Actually, if you're able to combine this with cards such as Power of the Guardians, that becomes a 2250 attack attacker who every uh, time it kind of uh, go into self-destruct, you're able to um, remove one of your uh, spell counters from the field um, to avoid that destruction. So the first card we use is Wetlands, and this is the field spell card. Um, next, we're actually waiting to draw into the torpedo, uh, Penguin Torpedo. We summon it. Uh, we use the effect of Star Blast to reduce its level back down to 2 so that it can gain the 1200 attack from the Wetlands. And through the effect of uh, Star Blast, the good thing about this combo is that you are actually able to search some of these cards. For example, Wetlands benefits from uh, cards such as Terraforming or Metaverse, um, which can bring these cards either to your hand or set them directly to your field. Penguin Torpedo is also quite easily searchable within the deck. The one kind of problem child within um, this whole combo is the Star Blast. Um, of course, it can be drawn at a time where you don't need it, or you could draw into multiples, um, which is the worst thing you can have if you're kind of on the back foot in comparison to your opponent. The benefit of having Star Blast is within a pure Penguin deck, it can be used for, I think it's called the Great Emperor Penguin, um, which is a level 5 monster, you pay 500 life points, and you're able to just summon it as a level 4 monster. When you use its effect, you can tribute it um, to bring two penguin monsters from your deck to your field. So, of course, that actually ha acts as a bit of contingency plan. Um, I think that's actually quite a good combo. Even if you just have to have Star Blast in your deck, you should be running about two of those, um, just so you don't risk kind of clogging your hand. You should be looking at perhaps running two to three versions of the Wetlands, and maybe a couple of the Searching um, Spell or Trap cards for the Field spell, um, because as you can see even in this hand, you've got Penguin Soldier, uh, which is also a level two. There's a couple of other monsters that are quite small as well that can benefit from wetlands and I would be running triple of penguin torpedo because that's kind of one of the ways you get your main damage on board. In terms of how I would actually rate the strategy, um, in terms of 
the technicality of it. I would say it's a 2 out of 5. Uh, most people are familiar with Wetlands as uh, a card. And of course, um, a lot of them being low level aqua type monsters, they know that these cards are going to work well together. Out of it being easy to use, I would say this is a 1 out of 5. It's a 3 card strategy, having to kind of either wait to draw into those cards or having to run cards which uh, will clog up your hand just to get those three pieces in your hand is also quite difficult especially when there are much easier strategies to use um, which are more likely to be effective but I would say from the surprise factor it's a four out of five the reason for this is um, people might be aware of um, the basic combos of wetlands and um, aqua slash water attribute monsters but they aren't necessarily as aware of the level manipulation cards outside of things you know like message in a bottle which are traditionally used for exceeds plays rather than for putting just damage on board thank you for watching the video and like the video if you enjoyed it what do you think of this combo is this something you've thought of a combo between wetlands penguin torpedo and star blast or is this something i've new i've brought to you um whatever you think leave your comments down below and please subscribe, it helps promote my channel uh, for YouTube.